All right, here we go. Question number 21 in our college algebra, homework number six in my lab math says use properties of logarithms to expand the logarithmic expression as much as possible. Evaluate logarithmic expressions without using a calculator if possible. Okay, and we all know that anytime it says without using a calculator, they really mean use a calculator. So let's get started. Properties of logarithms. So there are three properties of logarithms. There is the product rule. There is the quotient rule. And there is the power rule. And the product rule uh, pretty much describes itself. Product means multiply. So you're looking for uh, if you're taking the log of something that's being multiplied. And here we see that we do have a multiplication. This is 4 times x. And that means that we are going to make use of the product rule. All right, so here's what the product rule says. It says if you're taking the log of things that are multiplied, each one of these factors can get separated into its own log and a product turns into a plus. So each factor gets its own log. That's going to be log base 4 of 4. Remember, a product turns into a plus, and then log base 4 of x. Now, since this first log has no variables, it's all numeric, we can probably simplify that. Log base 4 of 4, when the bases match, they cancel, and the exponent is the answer. And remember I said, <laughs> use a calculator if you want to, log base 4 of 4 is 1. So that verifies that our log is evaluated correctly, plus log base 4 of x. This should be our final answer simplified completely. Let's see. 1 plus log. How do we do a base? Base 4 of x. And there you go. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.